Have you ever wished to have a quiet secret place far away from the whole big busy world, with the wild pure nature and forest all around you? Having tea brewed with spring water at a warm stove, dig out in the forest is just that is needed for such a place. That's my first experience in making a dugout. Having selected the proper place, I start digging which appears to be quite easy thanks to sandy soils. I've managed to dig a hole of the right size within several hours. As the second step, I'm preparing logs for the framework. It's the softwood forest here, and there are lots of wind-fallen pine trees around. An excellent material to work with. I'm fastening supporting pole with nails. Metal easily gets into the soft pine wood. I'm very ambitious in my plans. I'm all alone far away in the forest without any construction skills. But I do have my intention to sleep this night in the dugout. My next step is laying walls. The logs get pressed between the framework and the ground. One by one, the logs form the outline of my plane shelter.
I am covering the pole made roof with waterproof cloth to protect the dugout against water from the ground which I put onto the roof. I've made a very simple bed. It's the middle of the night already. I spent my whole day working. Sewing logs takes a lot of time. I only use hand hacksaw in this hike. It's time to take care of the stove. I'm going to have a brick stove later, but for the time being I'm making a ground fireplace. I'm digging a hole in the wall to enable an air flow from the dugout to the fire that will burn in the hole next to the shelter. The coals make it warm all around, that's really essential in April. And now I can cook and boil water here. So I think it worked out great. My next day starts with making the door. I wanted to set it up yesterday, but my body asked for some rest. Simple but functional door is ready. Let's try my new stove with cooking a big and delicious steak. I made in spices and garlic to roast it in coals.
24 hours only have passed since I started building and I have my simple dugout ready. I managed to spend the night inside, roast meat in my quickly built stove and enjoyed solitude. Next day I come back to upgrade my stove. The problem is the sand that gets dry from the fire and falls down. I've decided to insert a piece of metal found in human habitats. I've taken a long grain water pipe as well. This too will be enough to transform my dugout. I'm measuring the required length and inserting the piece into the ground. I've cut the pipe in half at the base to be able to support it against the ground down below. The remaining metal piece becomes the bottom. I've made a great fireplace. No, it's neither a house stove, nor even a potbelly stove, some smoke gates inside the shelter. But have I come here in search of comfort? Not at all. I aim for an unusual handmade place. But I cannot leave it like this. Some bad people can discover the shelter. I have to mask everything.
I'll cover the roof and the front wall with leaves, pine needles and tree branches and throw a couple of tree stubs on top. Only the door remains to be seen. I'll have some tree bark nailed to it. As for the chimney, I'll hide it in a roll of birch bark. Now this place is hiding from view. I still have lots of work to be done. The shelter is to be prepared for the winter. This was Hiking Optimist and Channel Life in the Wild. See you soon.